Turn my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about Fortnite and the big update that's coming tomorrow. But before we get into that, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys follow the link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and get signed up into my $25 giveaway. And with that being said, welcome to the Bear Squad. Now, Fortnite, it, it's no secret that Fortnite Season 7 has added in quite a few things that have been, to say the least, meta-changing. Now, the Boombox, Dynamite, and Storm Wings are three of the biggest gameplay changing things our items in the game right now um it's no like no secret about that because of the fact that like there's so many professional fortnite players there's so many like uh, fortnite streamers that are just like not necessarily having as much fun at the game right now uh to name a few uh 72 hours you know ghost aiden's made complaints and so as like ghost issa so not to mention i think his name is ghost bizzle he's been pretty active when it comes to fortnite and like explaining why it's not very fun so that being said there has been a lot of controversy over the last couple of weeks especially over on twitter where people are like oh hey you know the storm wings and stuff really aren't that bad and whereas a lot of people are also like oh hey you know they're pretty they're pretty ass now me personally i don't really like most of the things i don't really think the plane should have guns uh the dynamite's not really a big deal i don't really feel like it's got that much of an advantage i mean it does but it doesn't at the same time and most people won't pick up dynamite as one of their slots in their uh inventory anyways so i don't really don't feel like it really is that much of a game play changing thing i think the dynamite and boombox are more effective in the middle of the game but more importantly guys we're here to talk about the update now first things first we all we already know that one thing that's happening is the return of the dual pistols now i i'm a very big fan of the dual pistols and i really am glad that they're bringing those back and i hope they have they stay there for quite a bit of time now as well as that they are bringing the suppressed sniper this is going to be definitely gameplay uh changing i was telling my friends about it when i talked about it i think this is just going to promote like kind of like a bush campy play style because you know it's suppressed and things like that also i want to know how suppressed it is is it suppressed when it comes to the people you're shooting at like will you not know where you got shot at at basically or like i really feel like it's gonna add some pretty cool gameplay changes but that's we, we have to see about it tomorrow and there might be gameplay video up on my channel about it i'm not sure yet but along with that guys we have the balance adjustments now we don't know exactly what the balance adjustments are but we do know that they're going to be tweaking the boombox x4 stormwing and dynamite now the thing about this is that based on like the general complaints i feel like there's uh going to be a couple of changes that i can think of right now that would probably benefit them um so when it comes to the boom box i feel like if they reduce the radius it probably wouldn't be that bad i feel like it and if they they took down the damage just scaled it back just a tiny bit that also wouldn't be that bad because the problem is not necessarily that it, it itself is a problem but the fact that after it breaks like after you break something you can't build another item like you just can't so it creates a very bad play field when it comes to that and that's why i think it's the biggest problem and that's why people are like so upset about it plus you know you can knock down whole structures so giving people that are high up a, t a chance to like hear it a chance to react and then hopefully get themselves off a building could should should help out a lot when it comes to the competitive scene now with dynamite i think it's a little bit of the same thing i think that the fuse timer actually i feel like the fuse timer should be a tiny bit shorter uh because i don't feel like dynamite's as effective because i know you can hold it to let it you know like dissipate but i i it's not it's not that effective to me so i feel like as in it kind of needs a buff to be balanced so i would say a shorter fuse time and maybe a smaller blast radius to you know balance each other out and with planes i think that when it comes to it the plane should just do generally more damage or less damage and you should take less damage from being hit by a plane now most people are going to be like why why if you you just got hit by a plane like why why would you take less damage but like that's the biggest issue i very rarely take damage from the plane uh when it comes to the bullets but i mean i do obviously if my back's open and stuff like that but i take a lot more damage from getting hit in the back 
so that mixed with maybe a little bit less health maybe not too drastic because i think it has 600 so maybe drop it down to maybe 500 maybe 475 those types of things could be cool so i feel like those types of changes are the type of changes that we're going to be seeing tomorrow but i would love to hear in the comment section what you guys think could be possibly happening or what you guys think can make fortnite fun again or when it comes to you know being fun for everybody and not just like more casual players so i would love to hear that from you guys but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my gameplays or videos <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next one peace